Hey everyone, Brandon with Everyday EV. And it's Tyler. We are doing a Drive Electric Northeast Ohio event today where we are doing a 60 mile trip from Cleveland through the Cuyahoga Valley National Park down to Akron. And then later for dinner. <laughs> yes, we're going to a restaurant called Lock 15 down in Akron. But what's really cool about this event is that there are going to be a lot of different electric vehicle owners from the Cleveland Akron area who will be doing this journey with us today. As I mentioned, it's about a 60 mile trip and uh, we're pretty excited. We're going to be taking the ID4 today. You ready to get started? <laughs> I am. Let's go. So we are starting our drive. And I just have to say, I really like that decal on that Model 3. I think his license plate says, who dat? <laughs> Definitely have to so. introduce ourselves. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Not my normal car cruising I'm in. No. Most of the time. Look at all these EVs. So we are about to start our drive. There are plenty of electric vehicles, lots of Model 3s. There's a Mustang Mach-E, a Porsche Taycan Turbo, and yeah, this is just a really exciting, good group of people and ready to go. Now, this is one thing I wanted to mention that's really cool about Clean Fuels Ohio, as well as these drive electric groups. Definitely check them out. There is a lot of cool people to meet and a lot of cool cars to see. So let's get started. Well, things are off to a great start. We already lost the group because there is a slow group of motorcyclists in front of us and the entire group is gone. <laughs> <laughs> we are- We'll catch up. We'll catch up. We're electric, we can do this. Right Canal Road. Kia Soul, you better take a really quick turn. Come on, Kia Soul. <laughs> We're so, so far, well, kind of far behind. Come on. Oh my gosh. Good thing we have a electric car because this instant torque really helps when it comes to catching up with a group drive. <laughs> <laughs> but we still have two internal combustion vehicles ahead of us. This is like Mario Kart. It feels like Mario Kart. We just have to knock them out of the way. Yeah, it just does <laughs> anybody have a blue shell? Do we, does anybody have a blue shell? We'll just go. <laughs> Put us up ahead. <laughs> oh, oh, I think the Camry is turning, but now a motorcycle just got in front of us. And there was still two internal combustion vehicles in front of us. <laughs> Three, because I see a Honda Civic. It's okay, we got this, we'll catch up. So we are on a mission to still catch up because we are <laughs> severely behind. <laughs> oh, I can't even see any of the members. <laughs> um, uh, Okay, I see there is a green Chevy Spark EV in this group, and that's the only car I can see because it's bright enough to see it. He's our waypoint. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The Spark is kind of in the back, so we can find him. It's funny because at the start of this, um, Ari, who drives a Taycan Turbo, was saying that if you wanted to drive faster, you could probably end up in the back so you could catch up. I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, that's not a big deal. We'll be in the middle of the group. Nope, ended up in the back <laughs> and we're playing catch up. So we're going fast. Really? You're going to run through that stop sign? Right. <sighs> Combustion vehicle drivers. What are you going to do? Oh. Turn left onto Riverview Road. And we caught up. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Yay! In half a mile, your destination will be on the right. So we are coming up to, whoa. I just got that on camera. <laughs> when you're riding a motorcycle, wear protective gear and don't wipe out like that guy just almost did. <laughs> so we are coming up through the Brexville Reservation. I think we're still in Brexville, I think. Um, and honestly, it's this really windy road. And it's just beautiful back here. There's a lot of nature and hiking and farms. It's just pretty cool. 
with regenerative braking, as we're coming around all these turns and going down and up and down hills, we're just gaining a lot of uh, range back into our battery pack. Thank you, or thanks to regenerative braking. Um, I think we have gained maybe 20 plus miles on our range estimator mm -hmm. uh, since we started the drive. And uh, that's just another benefit of going electric. And plus what's really nice about regenerative braking is that it's not using the physical brakes, it's using the motors to slow down the vehicle capture that energy and with that being said it's a benefit that you're not using the physical motors and you're not wasting them away which is really nice they'll hold up a lot longer i think i think we just entered cuyahoga falls right mm -hmm. So we are about halfway through the first leg of our drive. We're currently just entering Cuyahoga Falls, which is just slightly north of the Akron, Ohio area. And Whee! these roads are crazy fun, uh, especially in an SUV. I gotta say the ID4 really handles these well. Um, definitely has a little bit of body roll, but I think it's handling pretty well. It's soaking up the bumps well. Um, not carsick yet, which fun fact, I get carsick pretty easily. <laughs> Tyler knows that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so fingers crossed I don't puke on this trip. <laughs> the one thing I will say is that next time we do a drive like this, definitely try to get in the middle of the group because this is now what we see. It's going really slow. A uh, pickup truck going really slow. I wonder if he sees that I'm recording this. <laughs> God, let's go. <laughs> Come on, pickup truck. Yeah, go that way. And now we're off. Continue on Westbound Road for half a mile. <laughs> so this is definitely like a cat and mouse game where falling back, catching up, falling back, catching up. Um, but it's a lot of fun going through these uh, trees and these really you know, tight turns and everything. I can imagine Tyler's having a blast driving. <laughs> I'm having a fantastic time sitting here on the passenger side, <laughs> holding on <laughs> as best as I can. <laughs> but if you guys are ever in the Cleveland area, I highly recommend checking out the national park and doing these really nice uh, roads or driving on these nice roads. It's a blast. So we are officially on the second leg of our trip. We are heading down to Lock 15 Brewery. It's a restaurant where we're gonna have some dinner and we are having a really good time. We're on our little electric convoy. We're getting lots of looks because there's just a ton of electric vehicles people are checking out. And yeah, it's a really good day. Definitely have to say, if you are interested in looking for any Drive Electric Ohio groups, definitely check out Clean Fuels Ohio and get involved because there are a lot of cool people and members of these uh, local organizations and just, it's a lot of fun. I mean, if you love electric vehicles, why not? Check it out. We are turning onto Quick Road and we were joking that it's only gonna be 25 miles per hour, but it's not, it's 35. There's your uh, dad joke of the day. <laughs> Hey, checking back in, we just entered Sand Run Metro Park. I think we're closing in on our final destination. We're probably about 10 minutes out. Um, it's honestly been a perfect, beautiful day. I got a nice driver who's driving me around, <laughs> uh, keeping me safe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been it's been a great day and honestly this is exactly how uh, a Sunday should be spent going along the National Park checking out some beautiful forest roads and driving electric oh my God. Uh, so there is a lot of water it's like definitely flooding you have arrived that was fun. <laughs> Do you hear the tires? <laughs> yeah. They're squeaking. 
<laughs> so it's been raining a lot here in uh, Ohio. Actually, this is one of the first sunny days we've had in a long time. Um, and with the parks being more of a, a slant, it definitely uh, tends to have a lot of runoff water, but I've never actually driven through a road <laughs> like that before. That literally just goes straight from the creek, across the road, and then right into the creek again. Um, so pretty unique. I wonder how that is when there's a lot of rain. <laughs> So the day is over, we just finished dinner, and uh, Lock 15, highly recommend it. Um, Super good. Very good. They have some good vegan options. The beer, the drinks were really, really good. But because we don't film and record, oh, I guess you could say film and eat <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> I did not record any of that, but it was good conversations about electric vehicles, cars in general, technology. Mm -hmm. Just overall, a really good time. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Um, if you are interested in learning more about Drive Electric groups, uh, definitely check out Clean Fuels Ohio's website. There's a ton of events that happen throughout the summer, including National Drive Electric Week, which is coming up in September. So definitely keep an eye out there, subscribe to their email newsletter, and just, you know, honestly, if you're interested, get involved because there's a lot of cool things and uh, we're watching a Subaru almost at the front of our car. <laughs> so <laughs> with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you like and share with your friends. If you have any questions about Clean Fields Ohio, please comment, let me know. And uh, as always, please consider subscribing to Everyday EV. Really appreciate it. Thank you everyone. Take care, stay safe, make everyday electrifying. See you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>